Hello everyone and welcome to my video lecture series. Uh, our topic for today is going to be X and Y chromosome in human beings. Okay. So, uh, before we start with this video, all those who have not seen my videos on cell division, I would request them to go to that playlist and watch all the videos. I have made videos on mitosis, meiosis and cell cycle. Please make sure that you see all those three videos because all the three will be required for this video lecture. Right? There will be certain terms which we will be using in this video. For example, crossing over. So you won't know what crossing over is till you have seen those videos. Alright. So now our topic for today is X and Y chromosomes. Alright. And we are talking about this chromosomes in human beings, right? Uh, can anybody tell me how many chromosomes are present per cell in a human being? Like every cell in the human body has how many chromosomes? I hope everybody knows that the DNA which is present, right? The DNA is very, very long and for it to be fitted inside the nucleus, it has to be condensed and it has to be converted into a chromosome so that the chromosome can fit inside the nucleus. So, in every cell, in the nucleus of each cell, how many chromosomes are present? Can anyone tell me? I'll give you a second or two to think. Alright, so if you need more time to think, you can pause the video. For all the others, as you know, there are how many chromosomes present? There are 46 chromosomes which are present in human beings, right? Out of the 46 chromosomes, 44 are autosomes, right? And 2 are sex chromosomes. Right? So, out of the 46 chromosomes present in each cell, 44 are autosomes, 2 are sex chromosomes. If you want, the 44 autosomes are actually nothing but 22 pairs of chromosomes. Right? So, first chromosome number 1 will have 2 copies, chromosome number 2 will have 2 copies and right up to chromosome number 22, there will be 2 copies of each chromosome, so 44 and that is 22 pairs. So, 44 plus 2 makes up 46. Now, in the case of females, let us just rub this off. In the case of females, both the sex chromosomes are the same, right? In the case of females, if we have to write down over here, females have 44 autosomes. I am writing autosomes in short, plus the two sex chromosomes, which are both X. So, we write it as 44A plus XX, that is 46 chromosomes in total, right? And in the case of males, again, the autosomes are same, that is 44 autosomes. And both the sex chromosomes are different. So, there is one X chromosome and the other one is a Y chromosome, again making the total to 46. So, these are just the basics. Most of you must be knowing about it. Right? So, this is the introductory part about the total number of chromosomes present in the cell. Alright, we'll just deviate a bit from the topic. If you have seen uh, my other video lectures on the channel and if you have liked my channel or if you have found my videos uh, helpful, then you can surely subscribe if you have not done it. Also, I would request everyone to watch this video completely. Right? And if it helps you, do put in a like, do share. Okay? Anyway. Coming back to our topic, so 44A plus XX is female, 44A plus XY is male, right? Now, let us have a look at the chromosomes which are differentiating both the males and female and those chromosomes are your X chromosome and Y chromosome. What I am going to do is I am going to draw the X chromosome with blue, right? So The X chromosome is larger in size and I am just drawing a very very simple diagram denoting the X chromosome, correct? And the Y chromosome is smaller in size, I am going to use a different color, I am going to use the yellow color and I am going to draw the Y chromosome, 
correct so let me just label over here this is the x chromosome chr is the short form right and this is the i'm sorry this is the y chromosome correct now very very important now when you look at both the chromosomes definitely the size is different but each of these chromosomes has got two particular areas please pay attention now we come to the important part right suppose if i shade this area of the x chromosome suppose if i shade this area of the x chromosome this entire part and suppose if i shade this entire part of the y chromosome as you can see right if you see both the shaded areas both the areas look similar right so if you see both the areas are looking similar mostly in height and size so i will mark both the areas and both these areas are called as the homologous regions right this to the left i can call it as homologous region of x chromosome and to the right i can label it as homologous region of y chromosome now what do you understand by the term homologous see when i have two different chromosomes x and y are different chromosomes there will be certain areas in between the chromosomes which are similar now what do i mean by similar by similar i mean that they are having similar kind of genes that means this blue shaded area and this yellow shaded areas they are both having similar type of genes and that is why these areas are called as homologous regions now what is the importance of the homologous regions the importance is okay all those who have seen my video lectures on cell division can you think about what is the importance of this homologous region with respect to meiosis i'll give you 2 to 3 seconds just think yes all right the importance of the homologous regions is nothing but crossing over if you can remember this term all those who don't know this please watch my videos on cell division right so crossing over means that in the homologous regions some of the genes from the x chromosome they will move on to the y chromosome and similarly in the homologous region of the y chromosome some of the genes will move to the y x chromosome so what is going to happen is if i can show you with respect to arrows some genes from x will go to the y right and some genes from y they will go to x but this will occur only in homologous regions because these areas are having similar genes okay and what is the importance of crossing over see it is very important for evolution again i have discussed more about crossing over in my uh, cell division video so you can watch that i will also put a link to the cell division playlist uh, in the section right in the information section below this video so you can watch it if you haven't all right so i hope you understand the meaning between homologous and non homolo uh, between the homologous regions these are the areas where similar types of genes are present and where the chromosomes can exchange genes right okay now what about the remaining areas now this upper area of the y x chromosome where i am just going to make the area dotted if you can see over here and similarly the y area again i'm going to make it dotted now both these area which i have marked both these areas which i have marked with dots these are called as the non homologous region so again let me write down over here non homologous region of x chromosome right and this will be called as non homo okay i will just rub this off non homologous region of y chromosome where are these regions well let us mark them this is the non homologous region of x chromosome this is the non homologous region of y chromosome 
now these areas if you see these regions are dissimilar in shape size and also genes that means the genes which are present on the non homologous region of x chromosome they do not have similar counterparts on y and similarly genes which are present on the non homologous region of the y chromosome they do not have similar counterparts on the x so will crossing over occur here no crossing over will not occur that means the genes from non homologous region of x will not go to non homologous part of y and genes of non homologous region of y will not go to non homologous region of x why because these genes are dissimilar they are not similar okay please remember i will write down over here if you need it right if you want that point i will write down crossing over only occurs in the homologous regions right please remember this crossing over doesn't take part in the non homologous regions is this clear so i hope both these areas are clear the homologous region the non homologous region right so this is the comparison between the x and the y chromosome now why are these regions important see i have already told you the genes which are present in the homologous part of the x and the homologous part of the y they are similar right so let us not concentrate on these parts and let us just rub these areas off okay i will also remove the marking so that you don't get distracted by that so i'm just removing the markings of the homologous part okay and if possible i will also rub these areas in between correct all right now let us concentrate on the non homologous region of x and y now why are these areas important now the genes which are present in the non homologous region of the x chromosome they are called as so all these dotted genes which are present they are called as x linked genes and write down over here x linked genes so all these dots which i have drawn they are x linked genes similarly the genes present on the non homologous region of the y chromosome they are called as the y linked genes and the x linked genes do not cross over to the y chromosome the y linked genes do not cross over to the x chromosome and that is why they are called as the linked genes linked genes are the ones which remain linked to the chromosome and do not cross over is this clear now why are these genes important so i hope up till now everything is clear we have studied the total number of chromosomes which are present in both the human male and female we have studied the comparative aspect of x and y we have studied the homologous region non homologous region and finally we have come to x linked genes and y linked genes right all right guys i'll just take a pause if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so if you have liked my video up till now you can watch the entire thing and do put in a like right because you subscribing to the channel gives me kind of a motivation to make more videos see i am making this uh, this new video i have been making after a very very long time okay i have got many requests from students to make videos and uh, i also have my classes so i don't normally find time or get time to make videos but i thought that let me start it again okay so please do put in a like do comment even criticism is welcome right and do share it with your friends and please 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 subscribe right it doesn't cost you money to subscribe anyway so now we come to x linked genes and y linked genes so x linked genes and y linked genes what is the importance now these genes play a very important role in some of the disorders okay present in human beings some of the x linked genes are responsible for disorders like color blindness hemophilia and some of the y linked genes are also responsible for disorders like male pattern baldness right hypertrichosis now i will just give you some examples of both the diseases i'm going to make a separate video on the disorders of x linked genes and y linked genes we are not going to do it over here already we have completed 15 minutes of the video approximately so i don't want to make this video too long now x linked genes the examples are if 
I can just scroll slightly downwards. The examples of diseases over here are color blindness. Okay, and something which is called as hemophilia. For all those who don't know, hemophilia is also called as the bleeder's disease. This is the disease where many people after they injure themselves and if they have bleeding, then the blood does not clot and because of that, the leakage does not stop and the person, if not given medication or if not taken to the hospital, can bleed to that. That is called as hemophilia. Color blindness, I guess you know about it. And while in genes are responsible for... Uh, Disorders like male pattern baldness, right? Male pattern baldness is when the father has got baldness and the gene responsible for it is transferred to the son, okay? And it is present on the Y linked, it is a Y linked gene, so it is present in the non homologous region of the Y chromosome and the son also gets it. So that is male pattern baldness. The other example is hypertrichosis now hypertrichosis is a condition it is not a disorder exactly but it is a condition wherein there is a lot of hair on the external ear right the pinna which is present the ear which is present on the ear external ear or on the pinna a lot of hair growth is present so that condition is also whiling so i am going to stop or end this video lecture it was a very very short video but it is it was very very important for me to take this because my next video is going to be X-link disorders, right? And we are going to study how the X-link disorders are going to affect the males and females. Now, a quick question. If I ask you right now, X-link disorders, will they be present in males or females? Yes, what do you think? X-link disorders will be present in males or females or both? So the answer would be both because X chromosome is present in both males and females. In males, there is a single X chromosome. In females, there are two X chromosomes. So, X-linked disorders would be present in both males and females. Whereas, Y-linked disorders, they will be present only in males. Please remember, because females don't have a Y chromosome. So, all the disorders that I have written, male pattern baldness, hypertrichosis, they are normally absent in females. Whereas, color blindness, hemophilia and other disorders, they are present both in males and females. Again, X-linked disorders tend to affect males more than females. But that concept I am going to explain to you in my next lecture, which is going to be about X-linked disorders. So, with that, we complete today's uh, video about the X and Y chromosome. We have just done the comparison. We have shown the two regions, the homologous and non-homologous regions. I have shown you what are linked genes, right? And please, please watch cell division videos if you haven't. I will give the link in the description box. So, that's it. Thank you. Please do share, subscribe and like. Thanks a lot.